fear and loathing in Scottsdale. I'm afraid to speak in front of City Hall. What do you think? Three minutes and you'd like to make your comment, please do it now. You need to sit down. I think you're just out of line. Please. You know, I really find that offensive. You ought to be ashamed. And you have a gall to come up here. May I respond? It, this, no, you may not. But that's what's so great about this country. You can say whatever you want. Uh, you can express your opinion. You keep kind of like beating a dead horse. Maybe because you're not sure what else to talk about. Right here in front of me, Councilman, I don't know. We keep, we keep beating this dead horse. Why are we doing this? They're going to be able she to She said there, were, there are no final solutions. As you understand, Vice Mayor, they're, Mayor, not, they're not even done Mayor, doing I, I, the analysis. I, ha I have the floor, please. I, I don't need you to tell me what I heard. A lot of things that either don't make sense or aren't even doable. Mayor, excuse me. Uh, I, if we're going to have this discussion, uh, don't be taking exception with what you think ma makes sense or doesn't make sense coming from myself. We have a different point of view on this. Turn off the microphone. Your time party. is up. What would it be like if we had a mayor who cared about the residents? Mayor Manros, your time is up. And I so move. Well, I'll second that.